Good morning, everyone. The Source Miller coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. And today on the docket, we have ba -da -ba -ba, a Poke Bowl. This is actually a recommendation by the by uh, the guy who made my thumbnail for me, who has chosen to remain completely anonymous for now. Until he can get his own brand off the ground, which I think is cute, because, like, I'm doing this without a brand. Anyway, um... So I went to a, so I went to a sushi restaurant to get the takoyaki, and I saw they also had Poke Bowl, so I got a Poke Bowl. And, uh, let's try it. So let's see, I got pickled radishes, cashews, peanuts, salmon, seafood salad, sushi rice. Let's try to get a big bite of each. Excuse me. It's really good. Oh, I also got uh, sesame seeds, and I wanted bonito flake, but they didn't have bonito flake. They had white rice and brown rice, but I chose sushi rice because, like, I feel like it would go better with everything, and it really does. What is Poke anyway? Whenever I see Poke Bowl, I think like, oh, is it Pokemon? Because it's spelled like Poke, but it's pronounced Poke. Like Pokemon is supposed to be a portmanteau of Pocket Monster. So is it supposed to be a Pocket Bowl? A pocket bowl sounds like a bong you keep in your lapel, or in your uh, front pocket. Mm. This is, this was $17. Significantly more expensive than the, um... Takiyaki, which was seven dollars total, or about a buck, or you know, a, a buck. Let's see, hundred divided by six is A buck sixteen per octopus dumpling. Although I will say you do get what you pay for with this because it is a big bowl. Like look at that, that is so much food still. On <coughs> <coughs> to the eye doctor day. Um I thought I'd be doing this with new glasses, but Gonna be a couple weeks before those come in. So you're gonna see these old things for a little bit longer. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me a minute. 
Sorry about that. I really had to pull up my nose. Oh. Mm. I'm not sure if this is raw salmon or smoked salmon. It's probably raw because there's not a lot of smoke flavor. Mm. You know, the first time I heard about poke as a concept was um, Eddie Burbacks going to every, oh, what do you call it? Going to every, uh, not Cheeseburger in Paradise, Margaritaville in America, he got poke nachos, which imagine putting raw seafood on nachos. How does that even work? Because I'm assuming you're still melting cheese and stuff on it. Here, let's try one of the pickled radishes by itself. Really good. Like, Japanese pickling is way better than American. We're like, oh, you know, some vinegar, some sugar and salt, it'll be fine. But Japan does a lot more with a lot less. Reminds me of Devil is a Part-Timer when they um, put honey on cucumber to imitate melon. Which is funny because I do believe cucumber is a melon. No, wait, it's a gourd. Literally, the word for gourd-like in Latin, I believe, is cucurbitarius. I feel like I've just conquered my, um, my, uh, New Orleans arc, and I'm now starting up on my, uh, Japanese food arc. What other Japanese food did I try? I'd love to get a sponsorship with Tokyo Treat or something, where I could just try stuff for them. Because, like, I like everything, so I'm not going to say anything bad about it. I'd have to be really wretched for me to not like it. It's really good. I mean, at this point I'm just eating rice and cashews, which I'm not going to complain about. I just realized if you took out the mayonnaise and the salmon, this would be a perfect vegan bowl. Because you got nuts for your protein. I mean, yeah, you might have to add tofu or edamame, but mm. you got sushi rice, you got eel sauce.
They have their custom made soy sauce. It was fantastic. And this was a local place, so sadly I can't share the name of the place. Say la vie, que sera, sera. Anyway, that should be for me today. I'm miserably full. Y'all have a good one. Stress Miller. I'm out of here.